Hi, this is Tom Mira from World Class Coaching with this week's animated drill. This is a four versus two rondo that's split into two areas. And I like this activity because it really works on bar, ball circulation as well as switching the point of the attack in order to find penetration. Now, the way this is set up is, and basically this is in a square. It's a 30 by 30, you could say here, depending on the qualities of your players, maybe you'd want to make that area bigger or smaller. Uh, I would tend to make it a bit wider than it is long, perhaps because you're emphasizing the idea of switching the ball and, and finding width in order to penetrate. So you know, the way you set it up is going to depend on exactly what you're trying to get out of it. You can also work on defensive principles, obviously, as you can with any rondo in this. But here I'm going to focus on the ideas of circulating the ball in order to move it to the open space and then find penetration. So we've got a 4v2 on this side, 4v2 on the opposite side. The objective being to pass the ball between the posts to a player on the opposite side. So here we got the ball wide to a player uh, in open space, but we weren't able to penetrate through that gate because of the presence of that defender. So we circulate the ball through, and then we play it back here in order to switch it to the other side and then find the player through on the opposite side so the ball circulation can continue there. Now, in terms of the function of the activity, if a defender wins the ball, and you can do it one of two ways. You can say if a defender touches the ball, then they switch places with the attacker. Or you can require these defenders to win possession of the ball. If they win possession, then they change places with the attacker and the activity continues. And so we're moving the ball. And one of the reasons I really like this is if you're playing in a back three, or even a back four, you can you can work on this as well. If you're playing in a back three, perhaps you'd have your, your backs working here to circulate the ball and move it in order to find space and build out of the back against two forwards. You could do the same thing and make this your goalkeeper and then have these be your center backs and perhaps this is your holding midfielder, your number six coming back in here to support. And so we're working on possessing the ball out of this space and then moving it forward, which after all is why we circulate the ball and, and why we switch the point of the attack in order to find that ball forward so we can progress it. Now on the opposite side, we're working on the same thing. So you could make it position specific or you can just make it general possession and ball circulation to switch the point of the attack, just depending on your objectives for the session. But I really like this activity because it, it incorporates all the, the aspects of a regular rondo with the technical and you know, the ideas of spacing and, and finding the right option, uh, circulating the ball and then moving the ball to open space. At the same time, it gives us the objective of moving forward. So, you know, oftentimes with rondos, it's just in that one area. But here we've got the opportunity to play the ball into a new area, move the ball forward and progress it, which obviously is, is what we want to do in the game. So I really like this activity. This is from our new ebook in our tactical series, and it looks at Mauricio Pochettino's work at Tottenham. And so this is an activity that kind of highlights Tottenham's ability to circulate the ball and move it quickly and find openings on the opposite side of the field. So this is one of the exercises uh, that he uses to illustrate that and things that you can do with your own team to help you take advantage of these situations the way that Tottenham does. So you, know, you can check that ebook out. There's a link in the description below that you can check out and I'll put a put a link there in the video as well. So uh, let me know what you think about this video and how you could see using this with your own teams and perhaps progress it. So thanks a lot. If you like this video and found it useful, please give it a thumbs up in the area below. You can also subscribe to the channel there and make sure that you click the notification button so that you're notified immediately when new videos come on the site.